today, I need a French quarter guitar, so I'm gonna walk you through how I put it together. I've already pre-prepped a lot of the steps for the box. I got a block in here, I got a sound hole glued in, and I've done a lot of work to get this uh, neck all prepped. It's already fretted, and the, the uh, holes for the tuners are already drilled, so let's get started. All right, I've already marked here on my box where I want to drill my holes to be able to put the lag through to attach the neck. All right, now I'm going to notch this top so that I'm able to close this once I get my screws in. So now I'm going to put in the hole for the jack, which I'm placing in the bottom right corner so that when you're playing the guitar like this, the jack will come down and go to your amp. So now I'm ready to attach the neck to the box. I'm going to elevate the neck so that it's at the right place when I mark it. So when I close the box, I want the neck to be 3 sixteenths higher than the top of the box. I'm gonna hold it exactly where I want it, and then I'm gonna make my mark. So now I've got my mark on the end of my neck and I'm going to pre-drill because it's a big lag. Now I'm going to put a little bit of glue right on the bottom there so that it'll lock it all into place and keep it from moving around. All right. So once I get it to a place where I'm happy, I'm going to put in the additional screws that will keep it from pivoting left to right. Now I'm going to put my jack in. I got a, a disc piezo pickup and I just glue it right to the back of the soundboard. I put the disc piezo slightly north of the bass string so that it will have a little bit more of a bassy sound. Now that I've attached my neck to my box, I'm going to cut and glue a block into the back of my guitar that will be um, so that I can screw my tail piece into it. It'll give it a little bit of extra strength. But first, we have to remember safety. to put the tuners in. First I'm going to tap these bushings in. All right, so I'm just going to screw these uh, tuners down. I've got some little pre-drilled holes there. All right, so we got our tuners in. Now I'm going to put on our tailpiece. All right, so I have my bridge, I've sanded it, and I put a little bit of um, linseed oil on this one. We're gonna set that right there, and now it's time for us to go get our strings and string it up. So for this guitar, I'm gonna use 22, 14, and a 10. So I'm just feeding my string through the hole in the tailpiece. 
And then what I like to do, just to give it a little extra strength, is loop it around into the little end there. So now I'm gonna just feed my strings through this little holes in the string retainer that we make here at CB Giddy on the laser cutter. I really like them because they hold the strings exactly where they want to be. And then I just loop around the tuner. I like to do my loops first and then feed it through the hole on top of the loops. It kind of holds everything in place. So now I'm just attaching the strap buttons onto the side of the guitar. Alright, so I'm going to put my bridge underneath the strings. This is a 23 inch scale, so I'm going to measure from the nut all the way down and make sure that it's precisely 23 inches. So now I'm ready to tune it up. Yeah, buddy.